this was a very common question or a problem that a lot of people had questions on. And the, the main part, or the reason for this uh, question being asked a lot is that you guys have to organize a lot of information for a question like this. And now you're starting to see or you've seen on my quizzes online that I tend to do that. I give you a lot of information, not all of it you need to use, and, but you need to kind of sort through the information and, and organize it. So in this problem it says, what semicircle radius? So right then you know you're dealing with the semicircle and its radius. That's what you're solving for. Okay, so this is what we're going to try to uh, find. You're going to find what one would yield a perimeter identical to the circumference of a circle. Okay, so we're also dealing with a circle whose radius is 3.55. And we want the perimeter of this figure to equal the circumference of this figure. Okay, so we need, we're working with two separate things. You need to be able to organize these. That it doesn't matter which one you start with. Let's say we start with the semicircle just moving left to right here. What is the general formula for the perimeter of this semicircle? Well, we have the whole diameter, which in terms of r is what? Two times r. And then we have this arc length. The arc length, which is s, is given as m over 360 times the circumference. Well, because it's a semicircle, what fraction of the whole circumference are we dealing with? We're dealing with one half, so we're going to take one half of the circle circumference. And once again, there's a bunch of different ways to express circumference. We want it expressed in terms of r. So what is the circumference formula in terms of r? 2 pi r. So if we simplify what we have here, the half of 2 is 1, leaving 2r plus pi r. Okay, so here is our perimeter formula for a semicircle. And now we want to find, we want to find the value of r here such that p is equal to the circumference of this circle. So we need to do this separate problem. The circumference that we already found was 2 pi r. And so we just plug in what we have. 2 pi times our radius, 3.55. Okay, now, this particular problem asks you to use 3.14 for pi. Okay, so in this case, we can take 2r plus 3.14r. And over here, we get 2 times 3.14 times 3.55. Okay, so if we calculate this, so 2 times 3.14 times 3.55, that's equal to 22.294. And then when you add 2r and 3.14r, what do you get? Okay. The biggest confusion came because uh, students wanted to divide by 2 and then divide by pi to isolate these. You can't. You have to combine your like terms first. David? Yeah, just add them together. So we get 5.14r. And now we take this expression, set it equal to this and solve. So in solving, we're going to divide both sides by 5.14. So if I take this running total here, divide it by 5.14, I get my radius 4.33735. And again, whatever it asks you to round to. Okay. Now, really quickly, I want to talk, what would happen if I didn't tell you to use 3.14? Because that, this is what caused confusion on some of the other problems kind of like this. Okay, if you have 2r plus pi r, and let's say that's equal to, and just to make it easy, let's say 100. Okay. In order to solve for r, if you have your calculator, you can just use the solver, right? Solve, just type it in and get it. Now, not everybody works th that way or has their calculators with them. And so if you're doing this by hand, what you need to be able to do is understand that you're not dividing by 2 and then dividing by pi individually. Because you, you need to combine these r's first. You need to get them into one single r instead of two separate terms. The way that you do that is you factor it out. And so the way that you would solve this by hand is you would factor out the r. If you removed a, an r from this first term, what's left? And if you removed an r from the second term, what's left? pi. And so what you have is r times the quantity 2 plus pi is equal to 100. And so 
your last step, you would divide both sides by the whole expression, 2 plus pi. That cancels out, and your answer winds up being 100 divided by 2 plus pi, and you could use your calculator for that if that was the case. Now, again, this is not the answer to any particular problem. I'm just showing an example of what you would do. And if you needed the decimal form, hit the green diamond button. Okay, so for this problem right here, the, the, uh, if I wanted to see what radius is a semicircle whose perimeter is 100, the answer would be 19.45.